So let's add a way of showing lives to our player and being able to keep track of them within our game. So before we go and actually create the system for tracking our lives, let's first of all create a way of showing them to the player. So what we're going to do is go into our game object. We're going to create a new UI and a text object on that UI. And much like we did when we were creating our previous project, what we're going to do is take the canvas and instead of it being screen space, we're going to set it to be world space. And then we're going to shrink it down to be roughly the size of our screen image. I'm going to click and drag that down there like this. And we'll scale it down one more time to be roughly around about the right size like that there. Perfect. And then we're going to drag our text object here into position. I'm just going to put it there for the moment while we adjust it. And what we're going to do first of all is make sure that that is white so it's a bit more visible like that. And much like we did again on the previous project, back on our canvas, what we want to do is set our dynamic pixels per unit to be 2 so that the text will appear a lot sharper over here in the game. And then whoop, then what we'll move is our text box and I'm just going to move it into position up here like that. And we're going to change the text that's shown by default to say lives remaining X just because we don't know what the current amount of lives are. So we'll see in our game view now our lives remain is just up there in the top just the way we want. Nice and simple. Um, <clears throat> we'll, and we'll leave the font size at that. I think it's okay there for the moment. We're going to add some more things as we go a bit further forward but for now that one is fine just there like that. Okay so now we have our bit of text showing just the way we want to so let's actually make that manipulable by uh, our game. So we'll go into our game manager here and what we're going to do is obviously we're going to need a reference to that text object because this is using the UI elements of Unity again we need to go to using Unity Engine dot UI because as a text object we're going to create a public text object that we'll call um, lives text nice and simple and the next thing we want to do is create a counter that will actually keep track of how many lives we have and creating a live system is actually kind of one of the most simple systems that's handy to do in any kind of game really so what we'll do is just create a public int that is equal to or not equal to we'll call it um we'll just call it lives nice and simple so we we'll say public int lives so in our start function the very first thing we'll do as soon as the game starts is say okay the lives text that we've used we want to set the text on that to say lives remaining colon space and then we put another quotation mark and we'll say plus and whatever our current lives value is. Okay so we've got our lives set up there so what happens then when we lose a life? So in our respawn ball at that point what will happen then is we'll take away one life from our lives value so we'll say after we set our game actives to be false we'll say lives minus equals one which will take away one from however many lives we have and then we'll say again just like we did here we'll actually just copy the same bit of text paste it in there and that'll update our lives counter or our lives display on the screen and it'll tell, tell us that um tells how many lives we've now been updated to have so let's uh, we've saved that we'll pop back in to the game let that compile for a second and let's finish compiling so now we can go to our game manager we can drag the lives text object into there we can set our starting lives as tree I'm actually going to rename this bit of text here to be lives text just so we know and now we can play the game and we should see as soon as it starts up our lives remain will change to be tree there we go and now if we hit the ball ruling we lose our lives down to two we lose another life 
down to zero. Now, of course, we would want to do something when our player's lives gets down to zero. But at the moment, all that's happening is our lives will continually keep going down as we go. So the next thing we need to do is set it so that our lives will, as soon as we get to zero or below zero, that our game will show a little screen to say game over and that we can't go on any further. Good.